This is Tabby Cosplay speaking, and today we are going to be looking at Agave Abode. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to talk too much about it. Let's get straight up into this. Okay, Agave Abode is worth $18,239. It is a pretty small house at 20 by 15, but it's been one of my actual favorites in The Sims. I don't know why I haven't checked it out yet. It is a one floor house with two bedrooms and one one bathroom it is such a great starter home so small so cute it'd be excellent for just one sim to just grow their life and their life's work that's one of the things that i actually love about this house and it's so it looks like a little tiny little mini church let's go inside of it okay as soon as you go in the first thing you'll notice is that there's no television Everything is pretty up front, and that's probably what keeps the price down so low. Because there's absolutely no television whatsoever. But look at that nice big wall. Imagine getting some of your, uh, your paychecks and really starting to make it big as a writer or a musician and buying a huge television set. That could work out so nice. This bathroom is also pretty spacious. Let's wash our hands as we do. We just came in from the outdoors and check out this bathroom. You could definitely sit a tub and shower in here. It's got potential. This house can also grow if you wanted to. You can do a lot of add-ons. And let's check out this bedroom. This is a great for a child's bedroom so you can have a little tiny family. You can also put bunk beds, a crib. It'd be great or just an activities room. Maybe fitness if you're still single. And here's the master bedroom. Again, you can add television here, more fitness gear, anything you want. Let's go on the other side. Check out these windows. The view is very nice. And the weather is always great in bedrock straits. <laughs> okay, and let's check out this kitchen. The counters and those are actually pretty expensive. The fridge is one of the cheaper fridges, but the counters are really expensive. So I would keep those. It's probably what makes the house cost a little bit more. How nice and expensive those are. But everything else you can upgrade with no problem. Let's knead our dough. And I thought we'd make a nice pumpkin pie since it's October. And voila, look at that nice pumpkin pie. And I thought it also matches the walls. The whole walls are more of a pumpkin pie sort of look. Now I got a taste for pumpkin pie. Mmm, <laughs> that is just perfect. <laughs> Perfectly made. Okay, and there is no backyard whatsoever. So I thought we'd take a look at the kitchen again. Just really give it a once over. It's small, but again, it can grow as some cabinet space at the top. But that's basically it, guys. It's a nice, cute house. No backyard, not much of a side yard, but you can definitely grow it up and add second floor and really grow your family here. Okay, guys, tell me what y'all think, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, babies. <laughs>